so it's 7 a.m. in the morning. I'm at uh, Dehradun. This is Sometra from GlobeCruises.com, and this is Globe Cruises Spontaneous, another spontaneous journey that I'm going to do. So let's get started and see where the journey takes me. Here we go again. So you may ask, what is Globe Cruises Spontaneous, right? Basically, the Globe Cruises Spontaneous is just spontaneous. There's no planning, nothing else. I just come out. In all my vlogs, I have some kind of planning, a little bit. I don't script or anything, but there's like kind of planning of where I go, where I have to go, where I have to not go, and something. But in spontaneous, it's totally raw, totally unfiltered. Just trying the things out, whether it works or not. Random bus takings, random trains, random flights, whatever. And just going to a place, searching things out, traveling there, finding new things, and coming back. It's like fast, 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 fast. And that's the fun of Globe Cruises Spontaneous. So I'm coming, I've came here to see a monastery right now. I'm going to eat something right now because I'm hungry as fuck. Uh, I couldn't find anything, not Tibetan or not something, anything right now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, <laughs> sat at a random cafe and uh, have some tea right now. Uh, because nothing is open till now, it's like 8 or something. And nobody makes anything here in the Tibetan market. Like you have like traveled all the cafes here. And they don't make anything for food right now. Like I'm hungry as fuck. I'm trying to eat something first and then they'll go to a monastery. I don't think so I'll get anything except tea right now. So, tea is tea and I am a tea whore. So I love that. Yeah, so I'm going to the monastery right now but it's closed because I'm too early. Uh, so there's a stupa here. I'm going in. And uh, yeah, that will be wonderful. Then the monastery will open at 10. This is 8 right now. So I have 2 hours to kill. I don't know what will I do till now. Yeah, that's the thing. 2,000 years later. The statue, the big, biggest one here in this monastery. Right now, I'm in a stupa, and dam is beautiful behind me. Loved it. Um, the weather has changed now, and it's uh, I think a little bit rainy, so it's a little bit calming, enjoying. Otherwise, it was harsh as fuck with the sunshine. But dam is beautiful. Trust me, I love it. Dam, the weather has changed completely now, and it's been I think uh, it's going to rain soon. The winds are really hard as fuck and fast as fuck here right now. Uh, damn, the weather change change here like this. That's the beauty of you. It's surrounded by the, the valley. So in this light rain and clear weather and weird uh, weathers, the monastery is open now. I'm going in, and in front of me is a stupa. I'm gonna check that out in the monastery. 
Yeah, that's a good experience though. The place here is really chill, really peaceful. I love it. This is beautiful, while my hair is messy as fuck. Uh, look at this. Uh, look at this behind me. Yeah, there. Uh, yeah, that's a stupa, that's another stupa, that's the picture of, I don't know, Buddha, or uh, some of the many Buddhist gods. There are many Buddhist gods actually. There's, there's not one. There are the many reincarnations of Buddha. I have to clear that. I think the rain is right. It's a little bit hard now, and I have to take some shade. With myself and my phone. Number damn, this weather is really good actually. I love One it. Funny fact, uh, you will see boards here like that says eating peanuts is prohibited. I don't know who comes here and starts eating peanuts randomly. Uh, maybe maybe some peanut peanut fanatics are here right now. Maybe are peanut fanatics. Don't eat it. Don't eat peanuts here actually. Inside of the stupa is divided into five sections. Every one, every level has a different god on it, or the next Buddha, you can say. And that was very exciting to see, actually. It was very beautiful. The last section was actually closed for security reasons. I don't know what security, uh, but I want to go there. But damn, that was beautiful. I really loved it. There was all paintings on the wall and everywhere. And uh, yeah, what a great experience. Show the whole story of Jatakas and it was such a beautiful experience. So now I'm going to the monastery now and I think it's been very late. It's been around 12 or something. It's going to be 12 soon. Uh, I wasted so much time with stupas and everything. But that was such a beautiful structure on its own. And then this monastery I'm now going to and that will be beautiful too. Trust me. I said no, I really want to take it because that's a beautiful thing. So basically there are actually two Buddhas now. One is the main Gautam Buddha, second one is the Padmanabha. That's called the second Buddha. And both statues were there, the golden golden thing. And then there's their own Guru, I think, that's on the front. So the, the statues were hidden uh, beneath, uh, behind those that poster of their own Guru. Thing. I love that and paintings on the wall. That's such a beautiful experience always. Yeah, such a great experience of the monastery. Now I really have to go ahead and uh, explore some some other things here. I just can't waste all my time in the monastery. Uh, yeah, so let's go out and let's go back to explore something more. And boom, we are, we are here. This is FRI right now. And this is Forest Research of India. And I'm at it at that museum. This is the building right now. I'm gonna hurry up because I don't have so much time right now. But damn, this place looks uh, kind of big. I'm going in. I have first have to take the ticket and then I'll go in. If the shooting is allowed, I'll surely take it. Otherwise, sorry. Hello, 
building just looks like some kind of old ass building like a library kind of feelings like you're in some kind of I don't know British period and yeah it's like you're moving through time zones or something that's really cool and my hair is uh, leave my hair focus on the building Selvi section, Selvi culture section. That's the museum number two. Let's find out the first museum. I've never seen the first museum, and then I'll go towards the third museum. I think there are three or four. I don't have count right now, but let's go in fast because the time is running out. Heaven for no, trust me. And uh, the tools they are using, how they are protecting forest fires and everything, and every aspect you can think about the forest and research. What kind of barks there are? What kind of forest are found in India? Different kind of forest and all these things. You can find it here. Trust me. It's such an amazing place to be right now here. I don't know how they are allowing the photography and all these things, but I'm doing it until they allow it. But damn, it's a very good place to be and to spend time in it to check out the details of forests, how they're grown, trees, roots, the tools, how to cut trees and all these things. Damn, it's wonderful. The seeds, barks, amazing, totally amazing. Amazing knowledge here right now. I'm surrounded by this glass section. And damn, there was an instructor here who told me everything about everything here, how the forests grow here and different kind of forests. First, for the people, be the people, and everything. It was such a wonderful experience to be in this museum right now. If you are visiting this museum, trust me. If you have an instructor lying around, ask questions to them, and it will be really helpful. And they will give you so much knowledge and all these things. Trust me, it's a, such a wonderful thing. Come here, ask questions, and you will be loved. You will be loving. Uh, the timber museum was good, but the guard was a fucking idiot. And yeah. Um, Try to take pictures. He said no. I got angry with him, and all these things happened. But uh, yeah, that museum was really good, actually. And I think we'll go to the first museum. I'm still searching for it. Um, let's see where it is. I'm making new discoveries now. Um, there are like uh, five museums here. I don't know how many pop up suddenly. So I'm going for the five fifth one. That's entomo entomological museum. That like trees and insects and all these things. Google it, ping it, whatever you think. I don't know the meaning of entomological. See, that's that's a very difficult word to speak right now. So I'm going in and yeah, good experience. I think it's like butterflies and all these things. I'm going in right now. Museum generally depicts all the tree diseases and all the different insects, how they eat their trees from inside. I try gruesome to watch actually with how trees die from inside, from these insects and, and all these bow and worms and how they make the nests inside the trees, barks and roots and whatever. It's filled this this uh, museum is filled with those barks. That's so exciting. So that was the entomological museum. It was gross kind of situation but you can see how many insects are there that destroys trees. We think that as a joke but when you look at the structure of insects and how can it damage trees in terms of food, fodder, everything, plants, seeds. And you get goals out by the insect, you can really see what insects can do as well as they help the ecology at the same time. So it's a it's a very it's a paradox of having insects and not having insects. Insecticides can't help you because they kill every insect, I think. So we have to be very aware of all these things. At the same time, we have to kill those insects also who are destroying those trees. To save the forest, to save timber and all these things that's important now it's time for the museum number four so i'm going towards that museum it's called a non-timber forest products museum i won't spend too much time on it just quick skim through and go out
that was museum number four and one. Four was awesome. It was about NTFP's non-timber finding products, like basically like fruits and all these things, and bugs and all these things. How you can use different herbs and all these things uh, to really help people uh, in diseases and making products and many other things also. And uh, yeah, it's, it was amazing. And the first one, first museum was really interesting. It's about fungi. Because basically, it's like I know it's a nerdy thing. I know, I know it's too nerdy right now. But I'm like, I sometimes I like the nerdness. And uh, the fungi is a own kingdom of its own. That was uh, FRI behind me. Fun place if you are into all the nerdness. Go out, enjoy it, and trust me, that will be a lot of fun. Yeah, if you want to come here, because the vibes are great, the forest is great. I don't have time to check the whole uh, area because that that's, it's actually really beautiful. But damn. So, going to the next thing, faster than you can think. So the blinking process was a little slow actually. <laughs> no, I actually took too much time to find everything and all these things. So now I'm at uh, Lord Tapkeshwar Temple. And this temple is around uh, 5, 10, 15,000, uh, more than that, years old. It's a natural temple. So going in, excited. Uh, I'm also excited about temples, you know. Uh, I don't know, spiritual something. Love that. So going in, and then there's a surprise for you. Let's start. See the sticker? Uh, just came back from the temple. Great rain experience. It was downstairs. Uh, too many stairs going down, coming up. Little tired, not too much. But that was fun actually. And uh, yeah, I love temples. Great experience. And yeah, it's almost night now. Almost. The sun has totally sat down. Uh, you can see the mountains behind me. And uh, yeah, it's going to be night soon. But the night is still young. And yeah, I, let's do some spontaneous shit because this is global is spontaneous. Let's see where the journey takes me. So let's get ahead. Oh, so that was Dehadun in full spontaneous mode. Tough, enjoyable, and I loved it. And I want to do something creative with it, but uh, couldn't do that. Time constraints and spontaneousness was too much. But that's where the fun is actually. And that's where the clock tower is just behind me. Uh, yeah. But this is not complete. I'll come back. I have to make something more. So, part two coming soon of the room again. There is spontaneous. But at this time, point of time, this is Tom Metro from globe to the south Take yourself, Tara, and bye bye.